Well, hi there, and welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we're going to read the exciting story of the unicorn rainbow magic of Wally the Unicorn. This is an original story from here at Storytime with Kids, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Unicorns are magical creatures, you know? They store their magic in their golden horns and silvery white mane. Living at the end of rainbows, they spread happiness and love like the sun spreads warmth. Wally was one such unicorn, but he wasn't feeling very happy at the moment. His golden spiral horn kept falling off, and the other young unicorns teased him and called him Wally the Horse, Wally the Horse. They sang songs about horses, and as there were no other horses in the magical unicorn meadow, Wally felt different and alone and sad. One night, he decided to leave the magical unicorn meadow and his flock in search of kinder friends. He packed his horn in a rainbow satchel so it wouldn't be lost, along with some snacks and sturdy tape. Wally journeyed long through the night, and as the morning sun rose above the horizon, he found himself in a forest. The forest was filled with strange and wonderful creatures, the likes of which Wally had never seen. He met a bear cub and some squirrels, three young raccoons, and a couple of robins. They all became fast friends and loved riding on Wally's back as he ran through the forest. And the wind went shoosh, and his heart went wee, and he breathed out <laughs> deep breaths of rainbow happiness. No one in the forest cared that his horn fell off or that sometimes he secured it with tape. One day, a truck parked along the edge of the forest. All the animals knew to hide, except Wally, who was at the lake's edge drinking deeply from the fresh, cool water. He admired the reflection of his golden horn. His spirits were high and his heart full as he pranced back into the forest looking for his friends. Under his hoofs, the ground felt lumpy, as though he were walking on acorns or pecans. Then suddenly, he found himself surrounded, covered by a net, lifted from the ground and hoisted into a cage. Oh no, he thought to himself, what's going on? Got him, a burly, mean voice shouted from outside the cage. Before Wally knew what was happening, a truck engine started up, and he felt his cage begin to move as the kidnappers drove him out of the forest and away from his friends. He tried to cry, but since unicorns can't neigh like a horse, he could only breathe out rainbows, which grew smaller and smaller in his sadness. The journey in the animal cage was long and tiresome, so he decided to stash his horn in his satchel so as not to lose it. They traveled over bumpy roads and through noisy city streets until at last they came to a stop in a large sunny field. The door popped open and Wally was led out on a rope into the bright sunlight. As he looked around him, he saw 50 or more unicorns, most of whom he recognized. They were the unicorns from his magical meadow. Some were his relatives, and others were the ones who had teased him, and all were either tied up with rope or corralled into pens with thick metal walls. Oh, they were imprisoned. A hundred dollars for each unicorn horn they pay, said the same burly voice Wally had heard earlier when he was captured in the net. 
and another hundred dollars for the mane and the tail, said a second voice, this time coming from a short, stocky man. Suddenly, Wally realized the fate that awaited him and the other unicorns. Well, look at this one, said the burly voice. That's when it got no horn, said the shorter man. Why, this is just the worthless white horse. And with that, the short man untied the rope around Wally's neck, slapped him hard on his hind leg, and sent him running off into the surrounding woods. Wally ran and ran as a deep sense of relief washed over him. He thought of his friends in the forest and couldn't wait to get back to see them. He felt he had never been more grateful for anything in his life. But as he ran, he thought about all the other unicorns captured and imprisoned in the field. And his heart grew heavy and his running slowed. While he stopped, turned around and began making his way back to the unicorn field. He stood at the edge of the woods, hidden behind tall bushes and trees, and watched the men. He saw where the men kept the nets, and how they opened and closed the metal pins, and how they tied and untied the ropes. He also saw where they hung the keys to the trucks. While he waited silently until nightfall, when the men unrolled their sleeping pads and went to bed, he listened for the sound of <coughs> snoring. His heart beat as he emerged from the trees. First, he walked quietly to the place where the key ring hung. Gently, so as not to jingle the keys, he slipped them off the hook with his teeth and carried the keys back into the woods. Dropping them into an old rotten log, he imagined the men stuck, unable to follow the unicorns with their trucks. Wally <laughs> breathed out a large rainbow of relief. Next, he walked over to the first group of unicorns and whispered his plan to them, for he knew if they each started running off as they were untied, the men would surely wake. So silently, all the unicorns waited until the last of that group was untied. And at Wally's command, they moved into action. Four unicorns ran towards the metal pens and unlocked the bolts with their teeth, just like Wally had showed them. Two unicorns ran to the hanging nets and dragged them over and across the now wrongly waking men. Another group of unicorns ran back and forth and back and forth around the men, kicking up dust and creating confusion. Two men shouted, hey, what's going on? And cursed at being trapped under the net. But as the unicorns regained their hope and happiness, <laughs> they breathed out rainbows that turned the men's shouts and curses into giggles. <laughs> In just a few minutes, the unicorns were all released and running <sighs> as a herd toward their freedom in the magical meadow. When they were safely returned to their home, the unicorn herd bowed down to Wally with thanks and respect. Never again would they call him Wally the Horse. His new nickname was Wally the Wonderful, which suited him much better. An elder unicorn approached and pulled some magic from his elegant golden spiraled horn, offering to fix Wally's loose horn onto his head forever. Mm, no thanks, Wally replied kindly. I know who I am, with or without my horn. And with that, he bade goodbye to the unicorn herd and rejoined his friends in the forest. And that's the end of the story of the unicorn rainbow magic and Wally the Wonderful. Be sure to join us for our next video. And until then, happy story time. <laughs> Bye.